Hi folks, it's Calc here, and in this series of videos we're going to look at the more experimental side to both the Peak and the Circuit Mono Station synthesizers. This particular video, we're going to look at the Circuit Mono Station and we're going to start to control its clock, its analogue clock, from its own internal LFO. This can yield some really quite crazy results and is a lot of fun to experiment with. Um, whilst you're working with this, you may find that you generate some nice ideas that just wouldn't normally have happened. So this is quite an interesting little experiment with the mono station and is quite a hacky kind of way of working with it. Um, basically, we're going to take the auxiliary CV output, um, which we can access from the modulation matrix, and we're going to fire that into the analog clock on the back of the mono station. Now, as I say, this is quite a hacky kind of thing that we're going to do, and we're going to use the LFO output and send that to the auxiliary CV, which in turn will be received by the clock. So if we set to a sample and hold waveform, we should really start to play around with the clock speed quite a bit. So let's see what happens. I've just added a bit of depth here. just clear that you'll hear the pattern as it normally is. It's just a bass line with some extra notes added in there as well. And the thing that I'm going to do here with Monostation is really experiment a little bit with playing around with the clock. So let's apply a little bit of the LFO to come out of the auxiliary CV and let's see what happens. You can see now that the clock is kind of all over the place and is actually being controlled by a random LFO. We can experiment with the different LFO types. Triangle, sawtooth and square. Now if we put it into sync, we can also maybe modulate or, or automate I should say the LFO control here make some changes there. And so by automating the control here and keeping it in sync, we're kind of keeping it in time in a certain kind of way, however the um, speed is obviously still quite random. So that was using the Circuit Mono Station's internal LFO and using that to control the analog clock input. So have a play around yourselves and see what you can come up with. Thanks very much for watching.